In this video, I'll show you how to solve trigonometric equations using identities. This is part one. The first question asks, solve the following equation where theta is between zero and 360 degrees. In terms of our equation, our angle is represented by x, so just keep that in mind. Notice that we have two reciprocal functions on the left side. We have secant x and we have cosecant x. Secant x is a reciprocal trigonometric function for cosine and cosecant x is 1 over sine x. So instead of using secant and cosecant, I want to use normal trigonometric functions, cos and sine. That being said, I'll replace secant x with 1 over cosine x, and that's like saying 2.73 times 1 over cosine x, which is 2.73 over cosine x. That converts the numerator for this term. and Cosecant x is 1 over sine x, so I'll just replace that the way it is, plus 1.57 cosine x is equal to 0. This part hasn't changed. The next thing that I'll do is manipulate this term. We have a quotient over a quotient, which means we can simplify it. And I'll simplify it on the right side. We have 2.73 over cosine x divided by 1 over sine x. What this means is we take the reciprocal of this term and change this to multiplication. And if we do that, we end up with 2.73 sine x over cosine x. What I will do is replace this whole thing with what I just found. Now that you've done this, you'll notice that both of these terms share the same denominator, cosine x. So we can put the two numerators underneath one denominator. Here's what I mean. Cosine x over 2.73 sine x plus 1.57. Unfortunately, these two terms are not like terms, so we can't add them together. And the right side is still equal to 0. Next, I'll attempt to solve for my x. And to solve for x, well, first we need to get rid of this denominator. And we can do that by multiplying both sides by cosine x. Look what happens. If I multiply this whole term by cosine x and, and this right side by cosine x, I end up with simply 2.73 sine x plus 1.57 is equal to 0. The cosine x disappears, goes away. I'll bring this 1.57 to the right side, where I end up with 2.73 sine x is equal to negative 1.57, dividing both sides by 2.73. This will cancel out. And on the right side, we have 2.73. Where we are left with, and I'm going to erase everything that we don't need, we're left with this fraction on the right side. And if we were to divide negative 1.57 with 2.73, we would end up with a negative number. I'll show you. Negative 1.57 divided by 2.73 gives us negative 0 0.5750. Negative 0 0.5750, as suspected. According to cast, which tells us when sine will be positive, cosine is positive here. All trigonometric functions are positive here in the first quadrant. Sine is positive here, and only tangent is positive here. So sine is positive here and here, and it's negative here and here. So our target angle is this one and this one. That's our job. We need to find that next. The way we do that is first, we want to take the absolute of this ratio. This will give us an acute angle, which we can use then to find this greater angle. Using sine inverse on our calculator, sine inverse of 0 0.5750 gives us 35.1, or approximately that. So x is equal to 35.1 degrees. And remember, this is my acute angle. So to find out this one, I'll add 180 to this. So let's go ahead and do that. 180 plus 35.1 gives us our first angle of 215.1. So x one is 215.1 approximately. And x2, this one, the one that's even bigger, 
Well, for that, we take 360 minus our acute angle of 35.1, where we end up with 324.9. 324.9 degrees. And these are our two positive angles between 0 and 360 degrees. Let's move on to question 2. And question 2 is rated easy, and here's why. Once again, they ask us to solve the equation. The first thing that I'll do is divide both sides by cosine x. Look what happens. Sine x over cosine x is equal to negative 1. Sine x over cosine x is an identity for tangent x. So we have tangent x is equal to the ratio of negative 1. What I'll do next is use the absolute of negative 1. And I know that tangent is negative here and here, because it's positive here and here. So the angles that we are looking for is this one and this one. Taking the inverse of negative 1, we end up with, using tangent inverse now, tangent inverse of 1 is 45. This means that the acute angle for tangent is 45. To find this one, we take 180 minus 45. And to find this one, we take 360 minus 45. 180 minus 45 is 135 degrees. And 360 minus 45 is 315. So the two angles here that are correct are 135 and 315. Now you see why this one's marked easy. Not a lot of manipulation required. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to solve trigonometric equations using identities.